time to take a nostalgic journey. Antique tools and machinery. I bet you, you didn't know the history of antique machines. Well, if you really want to know, grab this book because it goes into the whole enchilada here. Look at this. Printing equipment. Look at these old saws. Can you imagine? How in the world do you hold on to this saw? This is a two-person job where somebody like holds one end, somebody holds the other end, and here's the important feature. Nobody else gets in the middle because if they do, it, well, they won't live through it. So let's see what else we've got here. Planes. We have got, um, oh, look at these. These are so, jacks. These are so, not jacks like with the balls in the jacks. These are the old jacks. They lifted cars. If you find these, these are very, very valuable. These are very, very cool. They have tool, they have logos on them. Different tool companies made the jacks. And, these are the, and they would use them to jack up cars. Or they also use them for railroad work. Um, how about this? Hay tools, hatchets. This is a hay tool, but these are hatchets. Hatchets are really popular. This is an important fact. Let me share this with you. I forgot to mention this. There are some collectibles that just, just cross all collectible boundaries. For instance, if you have a hatchet, and let's say it's got a famous tool company name on it, like Defiance, for instance, that's a collectible hatchet. But let's say you have a Defiance hatchet with a Boy Scout logo. You go, oh my goodness, what am I going to do? Is it a Boy Scout collectible? Is it a knife? Is it a hatchet? Is it a tool? I mean, what do you do? If you collect Boy Scouts, you go, wow, should I put a tool in there? So, you know, some of these multilingual uh, collectibles are kind of, kind of multi-purpose. So, you know, we got pumps, machine. Look at these early pump machines. Aren't they wonderful? They're kind of hard to stock in your antique stores, though, because they weigh about 9,000 pounds. But other than that, they're highly collectible. But I highly recommend that if you start collecting antique machines, that you're very strong. Because trying to lift them is pretty impossible. You kind of need a crane. And hopefully it won't be an antique crane. So good luck on this hobby. This is Jan, and I'm just so pleased to have gone through this ready reference material for you. Reference resource prior to your selection, because you have to know what you're doing when you're collecting. Because if you start buying stuff and you really don't know what you're buying, it's going to go bye-bye in a garage sale later. So please do the research. See ya.